WIOC3C and Rockefeller Center. This is Today in New York. Coming up, how'd you like to get away for the weekend? If drama's your thing, Big Edie is waiting for you. Oh, there she <laughs> is. We'll explain she, after the break. She's stern. Oh, very stern. Very dramatic. <laughs> You're watching Today in New York. No question, August kind of the perfect time to break loose from the hustle and bustle here in the city and get away for a few days. But if you're like Big Edie, oh, we're going to meet her in a moment here, you might still need a dose of drama while you're away. Drama. Steve Schoenberg is editor-in-chief of Sender in the Isle. He's back this morning with some ideas about where to go to spend a dramatic weekend in the country. Steve, it's good to have you with us here. Weekend in the country, a little night music all of a sudden. Yeah, that's I'm right. kind of thinking about that. Uh, the Bay Street Theater, tell us about that. Thanks, Scott. You know, we only have so many days like today left. So why not just get out for the weekend? We are, have so much luck that in the Tri-State area, there's beautiful towns in neighboring New England. Just get out where you can enjoy shopping, food, just outdoor activities. But also what some people don't know is that there's amazing um, theater festivals that happen only in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So people love out east, um, obviously the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we have Sag Harbor. Some people don't know that Sag Harbor is home to Bay Street Theater. Mm -hmm. This summer, they're actually doing the musical, Gardens. This was a huge hit on Broadway, right? Originally a documentary and then became a yeah, musical. It's yeah, it's the story of the, the Beals. They were actually the residents of Grey Gardens, the eccentric cousins of Jackie Onassis. And this is one of them right behind. This is Edie, that's, who we're referring to yeah, just a short time that's, ago. That's okay, Big Edie. Edie. That's yes. a little bit of a secret. You know, the, the, it's starring Broadway star Rachel York mm -hmm. and Broadway legend and TV star Betty Buckley. Oh, sure. So uh, actually, this is Betty Buckley. And thank you to Betty Buckley. She gave us the rights to kind of share this little treat. It's a sneak peek from rehearsals of her. Uh, she actually plays Big Edie. I can already hear her saying, Edie, yeah, Jerry <laughs> loves my corn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we also have you know, another place to go. You talk about going out east, but also yeah. you know, folks near Philadelphia sometimes go uh, Bucks County, New Hope, a great yeah. place for theater. And yeah. It's just a terrific reputation. Almost the same distance, you know, from the Hamptons that are. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go to New Hope, Pennsylvania, and its sister town, Lambertville, New Jersey. This is the like amazing place for anybody who loves antiques. You can stroll the town and for a whole day find little trinkets, but it's also the home to Bucks County Playhouse. Mm -hmm. This summer they're doing the 25th uh, annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, right? Oh, this was a huge hit on Broadway. Bunch it started show, yeah. 10 years ago, right? Yeah. It's just a fun town. It's about characters in a spelling bee. They actually pull people from the audience. Mm -hmm. So it's just a fun blast of a, uh, a, a show, and it starts uh, August. August 14th. And that's a good one to go with families. Yeah, it's a really fun little family show. All right. And then we yeah. have, if you want, maybe up north a little bit, the Williamstown Theater Festival. Yes, yeah, so this is not a show favorites, but this is something that I love to do, and I'll actually be doing next weekend. Mm -hmm. You can find towns along the way, places like Hudson, New York, mm -hmm. Lenox, Massachusetts, Stockbridge, and then you get to a little hamlet of a town, Williamstown, that that pun was completely intended. <laughs> yeah, okay. They, yeah. they have huge <laughs> mega musicals. It's amazing. This tiny little bucolic um, Berkshire's town and you see shows that really make their way to Broadway. Mm -hmm. I've seen shows there, Elephant Man starring Bradley Cooper, uh, The Visit starring Cheetah Rivera that came to Broadway, and opening next weekend, The Moon for the Misbegotten starring six-time Tony Award winner Audrey McDonald and her husband, Will Swenson, Tony nominee. Oh, and there's a lot to do there as well. You're there's talking about tons. that journey going up north as well. Exactly. Uh, also in terms of a little bit of Shakespeare as sure, well. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, you know, Shakespeare and Company is also in Lenox, Massachusetts. They've got, you know, they do the classics. But what I think is really interesting this summer is they're doing a show called Red Velvet. Mm -hmm. And it's about the first African-American man who ever played the role of Othello. You know, you think of Othello as a role played by an African-American man. But actually, uh, this was the first done in the 1880s. Mm -hmm. So it's a really interesting story about how that evolved and, you know, sort of the, um, how, the guts that it took to play that role on stage by a black man. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the summer theater also, these are a lot of people who, and talk about that a little bit more, who begin doing, I guess what might have been called summer stock years ago leads to journeys that do take them here to New York and here to Broadway. Yeah, and you know, it's terrific to see it in these small little sta uh, stages um, on Broadway, or before Broadway, of course, you mm -hmm. know, things like Elephant Man. I saw that, you know, up there, like I talked about Williamstown. That's a little theater that you know, houses, I think, uh, probably a hundred people. Right. Then you want to see it on Broadway. The ticket prices go way up, mm -hmm. right? And that theater houses about 2,000 people. So why not see these stars so much closer? Also, you know, these shows sometimes are just, it's really for the artistic value. It's not always for the commercial value. So you're not just seeing adaptations of movies and just big flashy musicals, but shows that have super quality. You know, I got to tell you, Gus, we have so much more information on Center on the Isle. Mm -hmm. And I was really proud. I partnered with um, Shakespeare and Company mm -hmm. and also Bucks County Playhouse because some 
some people, they may be curious about this. So what we're doing is doing a giveaway mm -hmm. online. Um, so you can enter to win tickets to Red Velvet, the show that I mentioned, mm -hmm. and also the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee down at Bucks County Playhouse. All right, center on the aisle. Steve Schomburg, thanks very much. Appreciate thanks, you Scott. coming in. Yeah. It's uh, 7.57 here. Let's go back over to Kerry. All right.